This section of the tutorial is on the Mark Craters feature in the Mappers projects. I will show this example with Moon Mappers, but this works as well for the other projects where there's a crater tool. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've selected or clicked on Mark Craters button. Uh, if you want to know what each of these buttons do, you just double click and you will get a description of what it does. Uh, so I'm going to give you a, uh, an overview of how that works. Anytime you mouse over the image, there will be a small section that zooms in so you can see exactly what you're pointing at, your cursor is pointing at. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make a crater, uh, mark a crater. So this looks like a, a uh, this is the first one that catches my eye. So what I'm going to do is click on this about the center of the crater and drag until the size of the circle on the screen matches about where the crater rim is. So uh, that is the marked crater. So once you've marked a crater, uh, if you want to change your mark, you can just click and drag to move it around. Or once you've clicked on it and let go, you can pull on these arrows to change the size of it after the fact, if you think it needs to be smaller or bigger. Now you always have to make sure um, you can only mark craters above a certain size and so when it's red it's too small. Uh, once it hits green you know it's big enough to be include, included. Uh, you want to pay attention to things like shadow or the direction of sunlight. Uh, in all of these craters you've got the sunlight on this side here, the rim on the downside and the shadow out here. Uh, you want to make sure you catch the entire rim of the crater in your circle, like I'm showing here, um, and mark as many of the circular features that you see. I'm going to go ahead and mark a few more. Uh, if you make one by mistake, uh, you can either double click to delete it, or go over to the delete marking tool, and that will delete your crater as well. Can mark a few more. You want to look to see uh, ones that have sharp rims as well as the more faded ones as well, uh, as long as they are large enough. See that one's not quite large enough, so I'm going to let that one go. Um, uh, in addition to the crater tool, there is a mark feature tool. Again, you can double click on this to see the description. Uh, this is for marking any other kind of strange features in all of the Mappers projects. Um, in order to do this, you can mark a specific spot. So I see this really bright spot here. It's not necessarily a crater, but I'm going to click on it and I get a menu of options. What is it? Is it a light albedo feature? So is it very bright? Is it a dark albedo feature? Uh, are you seeing boulder fields, concentric craters, crater chain, or is it just something weird that you want to mark to be looked at later? And that was a really bright spot, so I'm going to call that a light albedo feature and click continue. Uh, in order to delete the marked features, you can also double click that as well. I'm going to put that back and hit continue. If you triple click, it'll allow you to change it, uh, but you'll also have to uh, move it back. You can click and drag and move it around, and it reminds you of what you said it was. I might call that one a light albedo feature as well. Um, see if there are any more craters that match the size requirement. That one's not quite there. Probably tried that one already. Uh, I might mark this really bright rim here as a light albedo feature as well. And now as I'm looking at it, this large depression to me it looks like it could be a very old and eroded crater. So I'm going to mark that as well, making my best estimate of where the rim or edge of that crater would be. If there's anything else odd, like a linear feature, or if it's just a bad image, be sure to click one of those buttons as well. If you want to turn off your markings to see the original image, you can do that, but it won't actually erase them. Just click that to turn them back on and see the work that you've done. When you're done, click Done Working, and it'll move on to the next image. So 
So here in Asteroid Mapper's Vesta edition, uh, in addition to your mark craters and mark feature tools, uh, you can also mark boulders. Uh, sometimes there are little rocks, little boulders, uh, often in the floors of craters, um, and you can mark those by selecting the Mark Boulders tool. As with others, you can double click to see its description. Uh, you see sometimes there will be scattered boulders across the surface, sometimes they'll be isolated, sometimes they'll be uh, clusters, and even though you can't get every one, you might want to do your best to, to find them. Uh, this tool is pretty simple. When you see something that looks like a boulder, like something that's jutting out of the surface, like I might call that a little boulder there, um, you just click and it draws a diamond around it um, just to give, give us an idea of where it is. Uh, to get rid of it, you can double click it or use the delete marking tool. Create, delete, delete. Uh, once you've created it, you can click and drag it to move it around. And that is how you will mark boulders in Asteroid Mappers.